everyone, and welcome to a very special live stream. We're doing this today is the 20th anniversary of Super Mario Kart, released August 27th in Japan. In Japan, on yes. The Super Famicom. So we are playing the Japanese version, um, <laughs> and I'm here with Carolyn Pettit. Yes. And Brendan Sinclair is answering your questions on both GameSpot well, and Twitch TV, or at least relaying them to us, yes. yeah. so that we can we can or, talk about them. We're gonna get started right yeah. away because. Yes. Because I don't want to wait anymore to play so you can Mario Kart. See, this is clearly this is Japanese, very, very so. different from the American version. As any purist knows, Super Mario Kart is the the one true Super Mario Kart. Yes. We're not we're not messing with any of that totally neutered, worthless American version. No, it's is that uh, we're purists. We all yeah. grew up on the Super Nintendo version, but we knew it was an inferior product. Sometimes. So oh, this is yeah. this is the real way to. I, I love that we randomly have a Super Famicom cartridge. Of yeah, in the courtesy of Peter Brown, I believe. Yes. So we're, we're just going to run through the plan today. We're going to run through oh. all, all the cups uh, on 150C, because that's the only way to play. And uh, I'm probably going to win, but yes. it's not a competition. We're, it's a co-op, because it's a GP. It's a co-opetition. No, co-opetition. When Tom says he's probably going to win, he means every race. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, so let's, let's put this in perspective here. This is Tom's favorite game. I mean, you're not, you're not necessarily saying that you think it's the best game ever made, but no. it is your personal, my personal favorite. favorite game. In the history um, of games. And uh, I, you know, 20 years ago, uh, you know, when this game was brand new, I I mean, I think I can say that I was very good at it. Uh, I knew that I knew all the courses like the back of my hand, but boy, you know, am I, am I rusty? So, um... You played a little on the virtual console? I did, yes, last night and yeah, throughout the weekend. Um, so I'm not going to be as awful as I would have been otherwise, but I'll still be, <laughs> still be pretty bad. Oh no. Now, um, maybe we should talk about, the one, one thing that I think is interesting about this game is the, uh, the impact of the, the coins, because they ha haven't had the same purpose in all the Mario Kart games, right? If I'm not mistaken, Mario Kart 7 has the same purpose? Right. But everyone else, it's different. It was it was removed from most of them. Super Circuit, I think it's a currency only. It's not a speed thing. But in this, the more coins you collect, the faster you go until you get to ten. To ten, right? And that's the max. Yeah, I mean you can continue collecting coins, yeah. and you should if you can, because sometimes when you get jostled by there's other. A, there's Japanese names there. Yeah. That's Koopa Troopa, the right. name with the slashy and then the. Yeah. <laughs> and then the other thing. I don't know what those letters are. Brendan looked at me. <laughs> It was a slashy. But yeah, so this is so this is one of like the the franchise changed after Super Mario Kart. And yeah. Super Mario Kart is a racing game. It's pure yeah, it really mm. has a put a strong emphasis on like a, maintaining a good racing line. It's a racing game with battle elements. Yeah. And there's like one item per lap and there's five laps generally. Sometimes there's two. But usually there's one, so it's 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 mostly a racing game. Yeah. And in every other Mario Kart it's a battle game with racing elements. And I love every Mario Kart except for 64, but there, it's it's not the same. It's not no. the same franchise that it, that it started out as. Right. Going back to this game, you know, it it feels like a different game from say Mario Kart DS, Mario Kart 7. Yeah. There's no like win items like the blue shell or triple reds or anything like yeah. that. There's nothing I mean, like that. certainly some like the lightning bolt can come in pretty handy, but you know it doesn't last for that long. It's not going to be. It's really rare. It's really rare. Yeah. Quick question from the uh, Twitch TV stream. Yes. Rodrigo asks, Tom, do you think that this game feels authentic? <laughs> uh, I don't know how to answer that. Okay, well, how about we go straight to Lazarus, who says, Blue Shells ruin Mario Kart. 100% agree. I don't want any kind of luck involved in a game that I'm really good at. And when it's a game I'm not good at. No, then you want the Blue Shells. Then you want the Blue Shells, because yeah. how else are you going to win? But if you're good at a game and you're like in first for three laps and all of a sudden you're hit by a blue shell from someone who stinks, that's not fun. Did you really have to point a arrow there? <laughs> it's fair. It's fair. She, I didn't know she noticed, but it was, I guess it's on the it's on the video, so people saw yeah. me do that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's how video works. <laughs> yes. So what are your thoughts on the blue shell, Carol? As someone who just lost. <laughs> <laughs> I, I no, I fully appreciate the the skill that Mario Kart this is that Super Mario Kart required. Having once possessed that skill myself, <laughs> and hoping to one day possess it again. Uh, it's funny playing this. Like Tyler played it. He was playing on Friday when we were playing in the office, and uh -huh. he's like a racing game nut. Yeah. But he couldn't get the hang of it because it's just it's not it's it's Mario Kart. It's not like yeah, it's not like F one <laughs> racing. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's like one of those things you really have to figure oh, out. Oh, like, nice shot. Did you? That was a nice shot. A nice little bank. You have to figure because it's all about like oh. power sliding through turns. Yeah. And it's it's tough. It is. I mean, these courses. It's very easy to, you know, power slide is kind of a bit of a risk versus reward thing because it's very easy here to kind of power slide your way right into a wall and just have that end up costing you time as opposed to saving you time. So you know, but once you learn the courses, you really can keep your speed up really effectively by, you know, sliding and just uh, knowing what to do. Ginger Johnny 477 asks, is this the pro UK faction of GameSpot or the inferior US version? And I, I will actually, I'll stand up for the US version here and say that uh, those, those limeys are for the candy to tell me. <laughs> this is probably true. Yeah. yeah they would, wait, also, they apparently have scurvy. Do they play, does the GameSpot UK play Mario Kart? I don't think. Do they even have Mario Kart in the UK? I don't. I don't even know. They <laughs> must, right? They're civilized there. They oh. must have it. This is like the civilized game. So it's, <laughs> this is the sport, civilized the game. Sport of Kings. I this believe is, it's called Fancy Mario Contraption over there. <laughs> That's what they call it. Um, so Giancarlo Veronini and I have been talking about this recently because we just think it's. So this game came out. In a world where there wasn't kart racing games, and there wasn't anything like this. Yeah. And we oh. were we we're just trying to figure out, like, what was Nintendo thinking? Yeah. What was it like when Shigeru Miyamoto's like, shove Toad in the cart and make him run? <laughs> like, that's my impression. That's, that's a that's... great impression, by the way. Because <laughs> this is... <laughs> Shiggy, is that you? I know, <laughs> Shiggs, it's perfect. Well, that's what he was 20 years ago. Now he's, he's a little different. Yeah. But, like, where did this come from, and how, like... It's brilliant that they made this game. I like to think, I mean, I imagine that part of it was just like, you know, the, here's the SNES with this remarkable kind of Mode 7 ca capability. And, you know, looking at that, like, what can we do with this that we just couldn't do on the NES? Like, what what potential does this have? How can we make the most of this? And, uh, and you know, I mean, Mar Mario was, of course, and, and all of these characters were huge for Nintendo, so it made sense to kind of capitalize on them. But, but I mean, yeah, it, there's no doubt that this is a tremendously inspired game. Last so I'm going to go to two points of that real quick, just because I think this is really interesting. I'm sorry. So two points. One, they already did the, uh, hey, what if you make like a racing game with Mode 7 with F-Zero and then okay. Pilot Wings also? So it was more than just a technological, like, what if? Sure. And two, Mario was not hoard out at this point. Like this might have been the tenth game ever that had Mario in it. Like he was he was the ref in Punch Out, and he was like a well, couple of cameos like that. But yeah, it wasn't like golf. Mario Mark golf. Yeah, he was... pinball. We did, there wasn't like the plethora of let's put Mario in everything in '92 yet. That hadn't happened. Right. Yeah, he so, was in a lot of stuff still. I don't know. I mean, someone can correct me. I don't know what game exactly this is with Mario in it. But it wasn't it wasn't to the extent that it is now, obviously. No, no. And so it's I don't know. The whole concept is fascinating to me. So, so Shiggs is watching this. Are you lapping me for... Are you serious? Wait. You're second place. I just lapped you. Oh, my God. I did it. This, uh, if you need any further... I mean, that is def, def, definitive proof right there of Tom's amazing Mario Kart So skills. that was my favorite thing. When we when we, we did a marathon, uh, like a tournament, a tournament of this yes. in uh, December. It was like a Christmassy thing. Uh, and like my favorite... We had to fill out a, a survey. Like it was like my favorite trash talking thing in Mario Kart was lapping people, and I was sad that that Chris and Chris yeah, and Sean the counters didn't and pulled out because I, I lapped the dude in the final race and knocked him off Rainbow Road. That's my favorite thing to do in Mario Kart is lap second place. It's There's great. nothing better than that. Okay, favorite course, Mr. E U S underscore one asks. He wants to know my favorite. Course. Yeah. It well, was probably it was nice. probably Ghost House three actually, the one that we we just played two ago. That's. That's bizarre. I was actually gonna say one of the later Ghost House ones. One of the later. Oh, there's, there's this one's this one's great against the computer because if I drop the banana peel between the first and second speed bump, they miss the jump, which is always fun. That's that's ah, really I miss specific it. knowledge. I've played a lot of this game, more than ten hours. Carol, what's your favorite course? Uh, I I couldn't say. One thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, that is personal. <laughs> yeah, no, that, I don't want to talk about it. Between me and my creator. Um. One thing that I, so let's talk. Speaking of characters in this game, though, Donkey Kong Jr. Ooh. is in this game, and he is this the last recorded appearance of Donkey Kong Jr.? They killed him off. Probably, yeah. I mean, okay. So the, my theory about Donkey Kong Jr. You have a theory. About I do. Donkey I have Kong a theory, Jr. and I haven't looked this up on Wikipedia. I don't know okay. if this is a thing that other people share, or maybe there is, you know, a, a 
publicly known, you know, explanation for Donkey Kong Jr.'s whereabouts. But my thinking is that in when Donkey Kong Country came out, Donkey Kong Jr. had grown up enough to be the new Donkey Kong, and that Donkey Kong is like Cranky Kong or whatever the old Kong's name is. Cranky. That's I, I suspect Donkey Kong Jr. was just sent to live in a farm upstate, <laughs> and that they don't they don't like to talk about him. Yeah, now. I mean, what? It's just so weird the way that he's completely disappeared. And he wasn't mentioned in the Donkey Kong, you know, uh, the, the Donkey Kong Country games at all or anything. But Donkey Kong Jr. always wears shirts, right? Um, and I, Donkey Kong Country Donkey Kong doesn't wear shirts. Well, maybe when you reach, when you become a, a tie, when you though. become a Kong of a certain oh, age. Man. Which is, uh, my memory might not be 100%, but it usually is. The tie in Donkey Kong Country was the contribution of Shigeru Miyamoto. He didn't do much of that game, but he gave <laughs> no, Donkey Kong well, a tie. Well, no, the first appearance, and the, hand slap. the first appearance of the Donkey Kong tie, I believe, is in the game, or, or at least on the box art of the Game Boy oh version of Donkey Kong, which is on the 3DS Virtual Console. And if you have not played that game, it's very it is it's not bad. it is fantastic. I mean, it's I think it's just a great uh, evolution of the original arcade Donkey. Can Kong. you translate this for us, Kevin? Uh, it's a great race uh, in there Tom somewhere. Wins. Tom wins. It does not say Tom wins. <laughs> I can tell you that much. Koopa likes Heineken. So we're going to keep playing. Sure. Yeah. Um, so the characters. Yes. Am I right in saying that they are the four on the bottom are functionally identical to the four on the top? Uh, well, they all have a counterpart. Luigi right. and Mario are basically are the same. Yeah. Yes. Okay. yes. So, so yeah. you, you insist on playing as Koopa. Oh, Koopa Troopa. Troopa. Koopa Troopa. Now, what, Bowser? No. Well, that's another name for Bowser, is Koopa. King Koopa. King Koopa, yeah. What, whatever. Whatever. So you insist on playing as Turtle Dude. Kurt Turtle Dude. What is wrong with Toad? He's a, he's a freak. He doesn't throw his own body parts for, at people, for instance. That is weird. You gotta he doesn't that do that. That is freakish. You yes. gotta respect, uh, <laughs> you gotta respect <laughs> a hardcore Koopa Tree. He's gonna win at all costs. And I respect that. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's probably just a visual thing for me. I like the way... Koopa Troopa looks like a piggy from behind. Now, <laughs> why don't... My question is, since... Okay, uh, so so Donkey Kong uh, Jr. Oh and, and Bowser have the highest top speed. Yes, yes. Why, why don't you not go with one of them? I mean... Well, I would say, like, if I was training and six months from now there was a world tournament, yeah. I would probably have to be Donkey Kong because I really don't like Bowser. Okay. I'd have to be Donkey Kong because he is probably the best. Right. Uh, yeah, if you really know why. what you're doing, because you he's at the top, top speed. speed, yeah, he can shove people out of the way. If he has well, the slowest the acceleration, speed. so if you and the worst handling, if you, so if you're not like a flawless driver, then it, that top speed doesn't do you any good. But if you're if you're yeah. good, you can leave everyone in the dust. Well, they took into account the size of the characters in this. They right? did. So like the the Bowser and Donkey Kong can push everyone out of the way. Yep. It, yeah, okay. that is true. So I mean that he is the best. But I, I mean, this is my favorite game ever, and I try to make it as fun as possible. So when I play, I don't really play Flower or Star Cup. I only play half of the game, because Special and Mushroom are my favorites. And I only play as my favorite character. So it's, you know, you gotta, you gotta shuffle the odds in your favor so it's the best possible. But I'll never be Yoshi or Princess, they stink. They have no redeeming qualities. That's basically true. Uh, Mr. E says, I thought DK Jr. was in Mario Tennis. Oh, I don't know. we'll do some research for us that, and tell us if that's true. That's probably true. You don't have to, Brendan. Our user can do it. You gotta do a lot of stuff. So, here's one of the reasons Mario Kart 64 sucks. There's like a thousand reasons, because that game sucks. <laughs> it is so bad. And if it was any other license, like if it wasn't Mario Kart, people would just have forgotten about it. Whoops. So, the, fat, the, the big characters in that game, who I believe are Wario, Donkey Kong, and Bowser, oh, they are both the slowest acceleration and the slowest top speed. Right, what, what's the point? Well, I guess aside, I guess they're big, so they can they can jostle all other. They have characters. the slowest acceleration, the slowest. That, top that speed. doesn't make any sense. It just is like no, yeah. no. The the quick character is always you know like you have to balance the exactly, stuff. exactly. So like if you're playing that at a, at a level, like you have to be Yoshi or Princess because they're the two best, which yeah. stinks because there's only, there's four oh. players who can play that game. I, did, but, but, but. I, I got run over by the way. I almost fell off the edge there. So yeah, there's there's many reasons that game stinks, <laughs> um, but I I don't know, like that's just like one on one. This one, it's like super obvious everything. Like, these guys are balanced that we're playing as. Right. I don't know. Well, no, uh, aren't Mario and Luigi are the, are the like, quote unquote, balanced ones, aren't they? Don't, uh, what, 
or or what sets what sets Toad and uh, Koopa they Koopa have, they apart the, from Mario and Luigi? They have the best control, but they're slower. I mean, Mario and Luigi have the second slowest acceleration, the second fastest top speed, and the second worst okay. acceleration. I don't know. There's, there's a lot of minutia. Brendan's getting bored. Couple, just couple things focus. from the GameSpot uh, stream of this. Mm -hmm. DJB says Tom kicks ass at this. I was good, but he is a freak. Yes. Which might be like the first time in one of our live streams someone has actually said one of us played well. <laughs> yeah, and then I just got fourth. But uh, whatever. Seriously? Yeah. I got fourth. That's like, embarrassing. Though. I know. I got run over in the third lap oh. and I couldn't come back. Uh, and know. Faroon said, uh, oh yes, the Japanese one ran quicker, so the top times were significantly shorter, I recall. Is that a thing? Huh. I, I don't know. Ask him if that's a real thing or he's lying. Because I don't know. Is that a real thing or are you lying? Because that's <laughs> a really... I love it. Because Tom does not know. So here's here's the funny thing. Like, like It was like six months ago that I was like, Hey, Mario came out in 92. We're going to do a live stream on its 20th anniversary. Yes. And I looked at the Wikipedia page for the release date, and it was August 27th. I didn't realize until Friday that was the Japanese release date. So I'm, I can't read sort pages. Of. Happy accident, then, that we have the Japanese. Version. And it's the only Super Famicom cart we have in the office, as far as I know. Yeah. And uh, the, the American version is September 1st, so it's very close. So you can all celebrate that if you own the, uh, that version. Oh, Mr. E, don't hate me, but I actually liked Double Dash. Baby I love Mario Double Dash. Mario track was crazy. Which one? Baby Mario track. Oh, Baby, yeah. Baby that's Park. A great, Baby that's, Park. A great, that's a great track. Yeah, seven laps. Uh, insane. Lap. Insane. I don't know. Like, I, I don't think I've been able to get into any Mario Kart since this one. Are you quoting a weird user or yourself? Me. I'm quoting me right there. Like, I don't want like Mario Kart Seven on the 3DS. Yeah, that's a good game. Yes, it is. That, that's fun Mario Kart. Absolutely. I, I still, I never. Something about this one was just like, this is the Mario Kart. Yeah. Everything else is like. Oh, we're good. oh come on! That they made makes it worse. I agree to an extent. Oh. Seven is better in no, no, some no. games. Seven is better than the Wii version, for instance, like because they took out some of the, the BS. And I'm gonna get fourth again. Princess with her like mushrooms that she keeps hitting me with, yeah. not not doing me good. Is this special cup? No, this is only flower cup. I'm, I mean, uh, so this is not the cup that you practice on. No, mushroom is the one I practice on. I just love special. So speaking of. Um, like princess and her mushrooms. Ah. Uh, look at this! Look at that! I had a thirty-second laugh because of princess. Yeah. The, so the AI use of items in this game is different from how it is in later Mario Kart's. Like, they don't actually pick up the items that are on the track. Only human players do. Yep. And they just each have like a specific item that they seemingly can just use again and again and again. Yeah. So uh, Toad and Toad and Princess have their mushroom, which makes right. people shrink. Yes. Um, the, the weird ones are Donkey Kong and Koopa Troopa because it's a banana and a shell respectively. I mean, that's just like a normal item that we have. Anyway, so it's kind of weird. True. Mario and Luigi have invincibility, but they don't have super speed. Right. When they use their star man. Right, right, yeah. Just making a little more balance. So how long was it after this came out before there was just kind of a glut of kart racing? Ah, uh, I mean, there was Crazy Karts by Konami. That was the first one I was thinking of because that was four-player compatible, right? That was like the multi-tap on Super Nintendo? I think so. But it was, yeah, it's... No, I mean, Thwomp! Sorry, I hate these It wasn't until the next generation, I think, that people started really trying to rip it off in earnest. Or was it a Hudson one? Like a, like like a bloody Bom Roar card? Bomberman? Was there a Bomberman cart? Well, I think it was a Hudson, kind of like Konami Crazy Racers, only, you know, a company-wide thing. With Hudson? Uh, what I, are Hudson? I could be wrong. You could be. <laughs> it's happened. So, uh, Caro? Yes. There have been some great non Mario Kart Mario Kart games. What, what are your favorites? Ooh. Really? I mean, Crash Team Racing. I loved Crash Team there Racing. I thought the track design in that game was just fantastic. That's one of three correct answers. Okay. Well, that's my answer. It's a good answer. Uh, thank you. That was a really, really good game. I think Naughty Dog actually made that game, if I'm not mistaken. Is uh, Sega and Sonic All-Stars Racing an answer? Yes. I would say that might be the second or third best Mario Kart game ever made. Okay. Oh, so then crap. there's one left. Uh, Who's my favorite developer? Oh, uh, Mickey Speedway USA? I actually never played that, which is weird, because the license oh. turned me off. So that's not one of the ones that you Diddy said. Kong Racing oh, is... Oh, of course, Diddy Kong Diddy Racing. Diddy Kong Racing is probably the second best, I'd say, though I haven't gone back to it recently, and the controls might not be as good enough. Good enough to be that hallowed territory. But that game was stunningly brilliant. 
you play uh, Beetle Adventure Racing? Yes. Awesome game. That was yeah. Paradigm. Was it a Mario Kart kind of thing at all? Mm, no, not really. It was a, it was like four courses, but there's so many different branching paths that it, it didn't seem like four. Uh, but the reason Diddy Kong is brilliant is it had three vehicles, and and the vehicles like the characters had different attributes. So the plane could go anywhere, but it was the slowest. The hovercraft could could go anywhere, but it controlled like crap, and it was the fastest, and the cart was like the middle ground. And they balanced the vehicles and the courses and the characters, so there's never an inherent advantage. I don't know how they did that. Because that game, that game was like so stunning from like a multiplayer perspective, because everything like wasn't BS. The weapon system was balanced. It was just an awesome game. I don't think the controls would be good enough, I had to guess, to, to be awesome today. Didn't they re-release it just a few years ago? They released a DS version, which we, we, we shouldn't speak of. Why not? It, it uses, Let's speak of it a little. It uses every feature that the DS has. Oh. So you had to like yell into the microphone? Well, well you, had to blow. Blow, you had to blow to make the hovercraft start up so correctly. Awful. Or oh. touch the screen for others. Like, it was just like... I mean, it's our problem with Tearaway on the Vita, where it looks like they, they don't care about anything but using all the features. Our problem? Well, my problem and Tom's problem anyway. Yes. Sorry for speaking. Of you, Brendan. Uh, don't presume to speak for me. I just did it. Uh, damn it! But there, there have been some awesome Mario Kart ripoffs, and I'm pumped for the new Sega Racing game. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, okay. What about Wacky Wheels? Asks. I keep wanting to say Magrino. Vision. What is Wacky Wheels? <laughs> is that Wacky Racers? Um, oh, no, it c couldn't be that one. That one was brutal. The Dreamcast one? Yeah, with the uh, Laugh Olympics cast in it? No. But that's really good if you're from the UK. <laughs> no, like Brendan, or not Brendan, you're Brendan. Thank you. Justin, Justin loves that. Well, it's good that you confuse us. Um, <laughs> Looney Tunes Space Race. That are was the, pretty dreadful. Are, the are, Dreamcast. So people oh, are listing geez. other ones or, or no, ones no. I think are good? He asked about Wacky Wheels. It was a 3D Realms game. Oh. Huh. I, what? I don't know. Oh. We might never have played this. Yeah, I don't, I don't like, make an effort to play every kart racing game. There is some square ones that should be not mentioned. <laughs> uh, there's some... I, I, do I, I do think it's funny... Uh, there's a Final Fantasy kart racing game? There's a Chocobo one. Oh. I do think it's funny that people still like to joke, like, oh, there's going to be a new Metal Gear. I bet it's a kart racer. Like, even though that's not a thing anymore, where every game is a kart racer, but people still do make that joke. Wow, okay, so Wacky Wheels was a 1994 Apogee software, according to our thing. Oh, I keep doing that. I keep bumping in the hole. That turn is a like, tough turn. It's an awesome turn. Cut it, I keep cutting it way too close. So I didn't get first overall on this in this flower cup. This ah. is bad news for me. Yeah, after we hyped you as being I so know. great. Well, whatever. Uh, let's see, on, uh, on the GameSpot feed, we've got some other suggestions. DJB, Street Racer. Uh, Danny the Kid 666, Mod Nation Racers. Very good mm. game. Whoa! Now that is a weird point of view, because it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing with me, and why I said, I'm, I'm like, I praise Diddy Kong Racing until the end of time, but I'm holding back on, like, because the controls. Mod Nation Racers doesn't control well. They made, they put so many different, like, if you hit the right stick, you slam into people. Like, there's so much minutia, it doesn't feel good anymore. And I, I, that, the reason why Sega All-Star Racing is, is amazing is because the controls are perfect. Is your trophy a stone Mario head? No, it's a silver one. Oh. That's how I roll. <laughs> okay. You know, so Mario wasn't a, there because they didn't want to show up. Decapitated Mario that's been dipped in silver and then presented to you. Uh, so there's a chance we're going to go back to Flower Cup later. Uh, we'll see. Let's see. Seven is says that there was an M and M's racer that was terrible. Justin Calvert reviewed it, gave it like a 2.5. This this won our worst game of the year award, right? Yeah, we kind of we, we ha I, we'll be honest. I mean, it's been a few years. We can be open with people now, not have to lie. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of took Justin's word for it and didn't play it for ourselves. When he when he described it, we're like, okay, that wins. We we're, we're, okay, <laughs> we get it, Justin. Yeah. We get it. Uh, it's normally we, we beat every worst game of the year <laughs> contender to completion. Everyone on stats. We have to make sure that it's and, that it's really bad. It's like because what if it gets really good in the last level? You know, you gotta you gotta make sure. The weird stuff is is we oh. don't really play most of the game of the year nowadays. Oh, the like Burger the good King ones. Kart Racer. I was gonna call it Sneaking. That's the only one I ever remember. <laughs> bumpin', bumpin' Racers or something? Well, that's a good name for a good game. Uh, 
Yeah, there's a lot of bad ones out there, isn't there? No one's like fondly reminiscing about the Chocobo racing game. Or the... Was, was there a Mega Man one? And there's a Mega Man one also. Um, I think that one might have been released oh, in Japan. Holy crap. Because there, no! there was a Mega Man oh, Soccer and a so Mega good. Man Kart Racing. And I think the Soccer one actually made it out here. The Soccer one did. Oh, it definitely did. That was the game that Giancarlo, when he was younger, refused to pay, pay money for to buy, so he rented it. Rock and Roll Racing. That was almost more of an RC Pro M. It was more RC Pro. Yeah, I definitely. Think. But still, the, you know, a, back when Blizzard made um, different uh, types of games. Yes. Yes. That was a good game. It was I a different that. Blizzard, a different era. A different era. Never forget you, Lost Vikings. I. We should do a Lost Vikings. Oh, that game, play. Absolutely, that game. Those those games are. Well, the first the first one's the best. One. It's, uh, yeah, because two is no yes. is no slouch. Those. Mumford730 asks, uh, does anyone here remember the GBA Mario Kart? Yeah, uh, Super Circuit. Yeah, I, I actually have that on my 3DS because I am a 3DS ambassador. It's not something you should say with pride. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I am a proud card-carrying 3DS ambassador. Um, um, so that game was awesome because you could unlock every Super Mario Kart track, which, which is like the greatest, it's like having the greatest game ever in your hands, or my favorite game at least. Did they not make revisions to the, like the way the power sliding worked or something? It felt like a little different because I mean that game felt very similar to Super Mario Kart, but it did have a drafting mechanic. Which it still was... had the basic Mode Seven kind of. Yes. Well, it wasn't actually Mode Seven, but it. But I mean, it, the it, appearance it, is. Yeah. Pretty similar. It yeah. felt very similar to Super Mario Kart. The weird thing about that when you <laughs> unlock the Super Mario Kart tracks is they were spread across five different cups as opposed to four. So you couldn't just play like Mushroom Cup anymore because one of the tracks was missing for Mushroom Cup. Mm. I don't know why they, if it was like Lightning Cup or something was thrown in there. I don't know why they did that. Weird. Yes. Um, so apparently the Mega Man racing game was released in the Mega Man X collection over here. So if you were kind of a completionist of knockoff Mario Kart stuff, that's there where you, you go. can pick it up. I, I think actually that was PlayStation 2 and GameCube. What? Oh, was that the one where the GameCube version had the jump and the shoot buttons on the wrong button, and people were very upset that this wasn't even in the options to switch it? So there's also the Mario Kart that we never speak about that I don't know the name of. There's there's two Namco-developed arcade games. And I actually saw one of these in the arcade like two months ago when I went mini-golfing. I didn't play it. I don't consider it canonical because it's Namco. <laughs> It's not, it doesn't fit in with the Mario Kart, like... Timeline. Timeline that we know so well. <laughs> Do you think Martin Nintendo's ever going to come out and say, like, okay, 64 is before Super Circuit, but it's after yeah. Double Dash. Like, this is... When are they going to be like, okay, it's time, dudes, Mario Kart reboot. We're nuking everything. <laughs> That's right. Fire chronology. <laughs> New lore. Yeah. We're starting over from scratch. It's it's going to be a more mature, <laughs> a grittier Gritty. Mario yeah. Kart. Grittier Mario. <laughs> um, more mud pits, I guess, is what that means. Yeah, that, that, I, that would be soon. I, I bet, like, at some point the timeline <laughs> split, and if, like, Donkey Kong won, it becomes 64, but if Mario won, it becomes Double Dash, and... Do you guys even know the Mario, the Zelda timeline? Because it's all I'm referencing is the Zelda timeline. Uh -huh. No, I know I, that... I, the CDI ones weren't included on that timeline. No. Right? So I consider that timeline to be total bunk. Well, there's apparently... <laughs> That's retcon. That's no, revisionist because... history. Apparently, there's three different ways that Ocarina of Time could have ended. Okay. Uh, even though there's really only one if you play the game. It's like you have three options for the ending. Right. So, and b based on that, there's like three different timelines. It just keeps branching and splitting or something. It's, it's kind of... No, it's it's not the ending of the game. It's like the various links of of Ocarina of Time go on. I don't remember. It, I, I, I know what you're referring to. It's, it's terrible. It's kind of stupid complicated. It's so terrible. Dan the Man 9856 Damn says, uh, second player, I guess that would be you, Caro. Yes. Don't cut through the water, it's killing you. I'm not trying to cut through the water. A little late water. with the advice there, but thanks. <laughs> well, he posted that a while ago. I'm oh, sure. God, what are you doing? You're killing Caro, you're it, drowning her. <laughs> if I can't, you know, like. I'm just here. Give voice to the people who think you guys aren't uh, good at playing games. I'm then. only here to here better for? demonstrate just how good yeah. Tom is at this game. I, I did bad we in need that a point of cup. reference. Exactly. Otherwise, second place with Koopa at 150 CC on the Flower Cup seems like a horrible disappointment. Ooh, and then someone here has linked to GTA 5 gameplay. That sounds legit. <laughs> <laughs> that 
that's all. Click on that. Just, uh, yeah, I can can you that. Can you mod that out of there, Brendan? Do you know how to do that stuff? You should be able to if you're logged in as GameSpot or something like that. Okay. Well. That sounds legit. Yeah. Oh, my God. So I did the thing where I was going so fast that I jumped over into the lava. Yep. Ooh. Maybe you could say it's Oof. a fault, but I like to say that Nintendo was punishing you for hubris. Hmm. Whoa. Okay, so now that I know about this ban function, I, I think I'm getting mildly buzzed with power. Oh, someone say something dumb. Somebody insult, like, Pinball or Brendan's mom or something else that Brendan likes. These would all be dumb things to do. Oh, my God, I did it again. Why do I keep jumping that far? No. Are people watching this? That's crazy. Oh, damn it, I keep... Mm. DJ Beats asks... WTF are you playing this game? Why are we? GW2 or Raiders is better. What? We're only supposed to play the best game We're at, only supposed to play at the time. Yes. And that's, I guess, Guild Wars 2 or Raiders. Yes. We should only play current games. Well, we're playing this because we it's my... not homage to the, you know, progenitor of a genre on its 20th anniversary. Uh, yeah. Wait, who was the commenter who said that? No, Brendan said that. No, 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 no. I mean, they. What was the the user's name? DJ Beats. Okay, so just a bit a bit of advice for DJ, DJ Beats. Beats likes Raiders. Please, so uh, oh, DJ God. Beats and others, uh, you know, please do not subscribe to my personal Twitch stream, uh, so that you can avoid. Uh, so we're gonna play this one again because I got fifth. Playthroughs okay. of. Uh... Okay, this sucks. <laughs> Whoa. Eva Rod 48 now says pinball sucks balls. I told you. I Ban can, him. Can I flag this? Ban him. Oh, Here, I'm going to mark that as offensive in GameSpot and then let the mods deal with it. <laughs> oh my god. You're on a power trip. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm logged out on GameSpot. They don't know that it's, that it's a staff member reporting it. Oh. They'll deal with it. They'll, they'll oh. deal with anyone yeah, else reporting it. Yeah, that's the one you want. Why don't you speak Japanese? So sorry. I'm actually not good at two courses in this game. This is one of them. Uh, the Dan the Man 9856 cool. coming around. Good job, second player. Keep up the good work. Wait, you just finished I, in eighth place, didn't you? Yeah. So that's okay, Dan the of, Man 9856 being a bit of a jerk. It's okay. I, I mean, this is a really tough course because the computer's a bunch of meanies and then there's thrumps. And yeah. But there's half the thrumps in, uh, and then there's a single player. Rock and Roll Racing or Mario Kart? Which one is better? Mario Kart. Wait, Super Mario Kart. Do you, do you guys think that Rock and Roll Racing has elements in common with Mario Kart? Mm. Uh, it's not really Mario it's, Kart. It's, it's closer to Micro Machines or yeah, RC Pro-Am. Pro -Am, yeah. Follow-up question uh, about Rock and Roll Racing. Yes. Do, do you think that there should be a Rock and Roll Racing too? Man, I, I am so bored of... I'm going to be on Blizzard going to like the same three franchises over and over and over. So yes, wow, I wish okay. I'd either make something new or, you know, revisit some of their awesome history. <laughs> Even Rod48 points out that he was just doing what he was told to do. But who told him to do that? You said you to, did. Yeah. Oh, you no, did, about the like pinball? Say something terrible about pinball. Yeah, you can keep doing it. You can be truthful to yourself and the world. <laughs> oh. Okay, well. Let us, let us know if you actually do get modded for that. <laughs> we'll talk to community about it. They won't. They're not going to mod for that. Uh, Hopefully they'll realize that's just a joke. Hopefully. Uh, I don't know. Can you guys talk about... Seven is asks. Can you guys talk about how when playing single player that the AI gets an unusual boost? I think they addressed it in the Double Dash version, but any fan would know it was the same as always. Well, the AI... I mean, this is... This is an older game. So when we talked about like the, the they use their own items, yeah. like that's kind of tied into like this is a game from the Super Nintendo era and it's kind of tough to have this really interesting AI. All all the characters, the enemies, the enemies, your competitors all drive on, on a straight line, which is why I knew in that one course you could drop a banana peel and they will all hit it no matter what. So it's like they have a boost, they have the rubber band, they try to keep it interesting. If I'm in first and Carol's in last, it's gonna be really hard for her to catch up because they set me as the baseline, and they all go as fast to catch up with me. Ah. So there's not real AI in this at all. Uh, current games have real AI, and it's taking over the world from within. Oh. It's real artificial intelligence. I don't that know if you knew this. That sounds cool. 
I don't want to start any conspiracy theories here, but here's a conspiracy that you should theorize on. Huh. Well, I'm done. I'm out of lives. I'm sorry. It's my fault. That's okay. No. If I would have passed that course the first time, then you would still be playing and having fun. Instead, here you are. Yeah. Not playing. It's too bad that they don't replace the lower screen with the map, map. when the second player is out. No, yeah. they, they really need that reminder of your failure. To just <laughs> kind of twist the knife while you sit there and yeah. stare like, So, buddy, are we going to start a new game now? No? <laughs> no. no, you're going to finish the cup, huh? Oh. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll just uh, I'll just sit here and be reminded of my failure. Oh my god, this is so bad. Yep, yep. I love that, I, And you lost to that. Is there a... <laughs> yeah. Like many times. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. They're being, they're being mean, yeah. The coins, you can spin out if you lose them. Yeah, that's right. If you get hit and you have zero coins, you spin out. Uh, here's a good question. Mr. E asks, are there any innovations you would like to see for the Wii U version of Mario Kart? First the of all, Wii U don't assume there's going to be a Wii U version. That's just getting way ahead of yourself. <laughs> there was not a version for the Virtual Boy. <laughs> so, I, I mean, who's to say? Yeah, I mean, if Nintendo won't support its most legitimate console ever. Um, I want them to strip everything down. Like, we already, we joked about, like, the reboot. I want them to realize that this, that their audience is bigger than casual pick-up-and-play party family-style games, and that Mario Kart is awesome. Wait, wait, bigger than pick-up-and-play... It has more people than Bigger than, than like... Wii Sports? It has more people than just that. So if they're gonna make another version of Mario Kart that has like BS mode in it, make it optional like it is in Super Smash Brothers where you can turn off items. So support a competitive scene for Mario Kart is what you're saying. Well, people who want a real game that isn't just, I mean, I, the thing is I love all the Mario Karts, but I love this the most because it's, it's about skill. So at least let me turn off the items that are bullshit. Like, is this a problem to anyone? It's in Smash Bros. Smash Bros. gives you that option. You can turn off any item you want and change the frequency and stuff. They, they, they acknowledge this to Smash Bros. Why not Mario Kart? So that's the number one thing I want. The number two thing I want is to get uh, Sega to make an F-Zero game. Okay. Can we do that? Um, Aim 2? Didn't they already make one? Yeah, it's the best futuristic racing game ever by far. The GameCube one? Yes. That was, that was hard, right? Yeah, Van and I want to do a live stream of that, but both of us are terrible because it's been like seven years since we right. played it. And it was hard to start with. So we gotta, we, we're got we going to have to try to play it a little bit. We're going to do a live stream of, of GX, F-Zero GX at some point because it's, it's one of the greatest racing games ever. But yeah, that's a tough one. But uh, I want a new one. Dan the Man, 9856, with uh, Caro no longer in the running to mock, has uh, asked, Mario Kart 64 has the best music. Which Mario Kart do you guys think has the best music? Super. Yeah, probably this this one for me. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't play the others enough to really pay attention, but yeah, the music on this one's classic. Yeah. Creepy ghost house theme. I also love the course names in this. Oh, just and like the, and the new one is five, like yeah. yeah. They're just numbered. Scorch twenty two with another shout out for Beetle Adventure Racing. Yeah. That I I believe that was Paradigm who um, is that Paradigm? I don't know if people want to correct me, but that's the studio that closed. No, not closed last week. That's Psygnosis. So for that Wii U one, Tom, do you want no blue shell? They can put anything they want as ah. long as they balance the game to be super fun without items and let me turn off items. How about that? How about online play? The same thing. Yeah. But I, I, it's, it's weird Mario Kart online play. I guess I played a little bit of DS version online, but it's just... I like, I'd rather have split screen than online. Especially with the Wii U, because you got your own TV, basically. Wow. Oh, yeah. hell no. Yeah, that's weird. But giving the guy who's in fifth place the lightning bolt? I was in sixth at the time, but it's just very randomly the lightning bolt, since this is the first time we've had it. Ah, dude. Did the N64 version have a rainbow road track? Yeah, it was a really bad one. In 50C, it took 10, mi 10 minutes, literally, Literally 10 minutes. Like, that's how long the track was. It was boring, and there was railings, so you couldn't fall off in oh. most of the track. It was made by babies for babies. I don't know what they were thinking with that. This is, this is a game that I loved back in the day, but just going back to it, I'm, like, shocked that it's Nintendo made. What I like about the Rainbow Road track is that it kind of creates a bridge to Norse mythology. What? Explain more. No. Ha! <laughs> uh, let's see... 
Uh, we need we need more more comments here. Zavor one option to turn off the legendary blue shells. I am sold. California Devil, my favorite part of the series, mastering the shortcuts. Which was the best shortcut mm. ever in the franchise? Oh my God, probably I th I think ghosts. There was uh, one in the the ghost house in, in Super Mario Kart. Yeah, where I think. They, they the gave you a lot of feathers. In yeah, the you need the feather to but nail it. But you didn't it. absolutely need it. Oh, that's I guess like, that's true. If you were if you were super ballsy, I think you could manage to make it without the feather. But it was like, at, at my best, that was one in six or seven times I would make that jump. It was Does difficult. that sound right, Tom? Yeah. It's, that's okay. You needed to be going. You needed to be lucky. That's kind of like you're like, in third, Carol's in first, out. and you're trying to pass Carol at the last fadeaway, but you end up getting in sixth. Because your top speed out. changes with the coins that you pick up. Right. Yes. Does it top out at anything in particular? Ten. When you have ten, ten. coins, okay. that's yeah, maximum top speed. Did awesome. they keep that as a standard throughout the series? No. no. We talked about this earlier, but no, they did not. Thanks. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, well, you're doing reading over there. Oh. They cut out a lot of the things that make Mario Kart good oh. in the series. It's, it's so weird, weird that this franchise is still so good, even though they've like made a neutered version of it. Like it's just—it's crazy to me that it's the original framework was so good that it can withstand all the crap that they've done. <laughs> C. Wallace Yankees asks, uh, "What are your go-to characters, and have they changed over time?" Well, as you might have noticed, Koopa Troopa is not in most of those Mario Kart games. Seriously? Yeah. He's not even a real character. That's true. He is one of thousands. So that's is Toad. True. That's also. I've true. always thought like Toad was a. I guess you're right. So is Mario. <laughs> True. It's like 18 different Marios now. Um, yeah, I, know, I mean, I understand the argument that he's not even a real character, but, I mean, whatever. He's, he was taken out of most Mario Karts, and that's sad. Like, I mean, I mentioned earlier, I think, that Yoshi and Princess were the only, like, logical characters in Mario Kart 64. Because they had the best acceleration and the best top speed. We're Nintendo. We don't know how to balance our game anymore. <laughs> Inexplicably. So that was 64. I don't remember... I know that there, there, I mean, there was like Double Dash was had two Koopa Troopas, so I used to use both of them. Uh, so I generally, if there's a Koopa Troopa, I use him. Dry Bones was in DS, and I use Dry Bones, Dry who's Bones. basically a Koopa, Koopa Troopa. Only dead. Um, <laughs> undead. Unkillable. Undead. Then there's like terrible, like Wiggler and Honeybee, and it's yeah. like, come on, Nintendo, yeah. you're, you're you're above this. Spaghetti Factory, who's heard of going counterclockwise? Is there, are there a mirror tracks in this? Did nope, not in the original. Oh. They, that was started with 64, I believe. Although in second, nope. when you're playing someone like Tom and you just... You know. for, for the, oh, for, I just want the record to reflect that for one beautiful moment, I was ahead of him here at the very start of his race. <laughs> So the thing is, if we were oh. like, I'm not, I'm not playing great right now. Like, I, you know, I've gotten, I, I didn't even get first in Final Cup. But if we were doing this like with any other Mario Kart, it would be like Caro gets. It doesn't matter our skill level. Caro would be first in these races, and yeah. I would be. Like that's that's what that's the difference between Mario Kart then and now. Absolutely. Spaghetti Factory also says Mode Seven graphics, baby, eat your heart out, Genesis. Yeah, Genesis Which, can do this. I mean, Genesis is. Long dead in the cold, cold ground, just like the Super <laughs> Nintendo, and you're you're not just letting it sit there dead. Every year I put a, I shovel a new pound of dirt onto its, <laughs> its onto its grave. I owned a Genesis initially, and then I sold it for a Super Nintendo. I, I love the Genesis. The sports games were, were always better on Genesis. This is totally true. agree, um, especially hockey. And then things like Mortal Kombat One. It was, it was great when uh, MK1 totally outsold the Super Nintendo version on Genesis because it had blood. blood. Yeah. And then all of a sudden Nintendo's like, whoa, 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 that whole family, you know. we This used to be a matter of principle for us, but we're, uh, we money. didn't realize there was money at stake here. So <laughs> yeah. you guys can put the blood in for the second one. Man, stupid banana ruined that race for me. Um, oh, crap. Uh, Dark Chaos mentions that Genesis had blast processing, which is, that's a fact. It did? That's science. I don't I don't know. <laughs> That's not just marketing. That, that processing was blasted. Spangled from every angle with sprinkles. That was the thing that Brennan just said. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, weren't there mirror tracks when you cleared all CCs? Not in Super Mario Kart now. I mean, there's a, there's a chance I'm wrong, but I don't think Would you so. consider Jack and Daxter 3 a kart racer? I'm going to say no. No, but... Is he talking about 4? Is he talking about Jack Extreme Racing? Maybe Extreme Racing. That game Jack was, X? Jack X. That game Jax. was really good, except that it re like crippled by hands, because of the control scheme. You used to, like, 3 or 4 of the, uh, the L2, R2 buttons, like, shoulder buttons in conjunction. So it was physically painful to play, but it was kind of awesome otherwise. Here's one. Scorch22 asks, have you guys ever played the N64 game Iggy's Wrecking Ball? Yep. That's an acclaimed classic. That's a pretty interesting racing game right up there with Uniracers for the SNES. Uniracers, isn't Uniracers developer awesome? I don't know who developed that. But yeah, there's, I play both of those. Was All I remember about Iggy's Wrecking Balls is that I keep calling Izzy's Quest for the Rings or whatever the Olympic mascot game. Six summer Olympics in Atlanta. Nobody knows what you're talking about. I uh, keep confusing it with Iggy's Wrecking Balls. Is that going to hit him? What do you mean no one knows who it is? It's like the most notoriously terrible Olympic mascot of all time. The worst logo is this year's, though. Yeah? Didn't like that one? Not going to like that one, no. Weird squarish 2012. Yep. I'm not going to go into details about what it looks like. <laughs> oh, yeah. You forgot about that, didn't That's you? kind of like the Resident Evil 6 logo. Yeah, Connor so brings that up. Our one of those, once you see it, you can't unsee it. News intern Connor brings that up anytime Resident Evil is brought up. It's going to be a tough game to play without that imagery in your head. Yeah. Ah. Uh, let's see. Who well, got that last? Yeah! Causey1234 uh, with a vote to do some more old school games on these streams. Cool. One vote is all it takes for us. Yeah. There could be a thousand against, but if it's one four, we're there. Oh, hell yeah. Grandfire. Blur is my favorite Mario Kart game. There you go, Blur. Blur, Blur is... That's a Mario Kart game. It is a Mario it's Kart a game. It's a Mario Kart game with, like, licensed cars, right? I don't know if it was licensed, but it was realistic cars. Yeah, which was a weird combo that, yeah. like, just hasn't really been done before. Yeah, it kind of closed the studio because there's just not a market for that. <laughs> People who want all or none, they don't want half realism and half fantasy, except if they play a war game. So, <laughs> true. that's 100% true. Blur, you can read my review. Oh. Uh, I gave it an eight. I didn't really have anything like concrete, like this sucks. There wasn't anything really wrong with that game. It was just a genuinely awesome game in every area. So, if you haven't played Blur, play that game. There, there's my advice. And now I'm sad about Bizarre, because I also loved PGR. <laughs> Even though it's like totally not my kind of racing game either way. No! So would you say this no. is a road? This is a rainbow road? Yes. This is, this is the original. Yeah, I would also say it's a road to nowhere. It is! How did they get there? Does Lakitu just like cart them all there with his little fishing pole? Do they know what's happening as he does it? I, it's, it's dark. Is, is it an abduction? <laughs> and then, it's, then it's like race. Did, did they ever sign up for this? <laughs> they never asked for this. No. Ah, oh, this is such a great course. Oh! oh! That mushroom, the speed of that mushroom just carried oh. me right off the edge. This is still... Bowser there just went right through one of those... Uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, that happens all the time. It's super, super frustrating to, to see, like, when you're banging up against thwomps. To see an AI opponent just <laughs> speed right through him. Some kind of bunk. And then he gets that uh, fireball. Yep. That fireball that rotates. Like, it may as well just be a banana peel, right? Yeah, but yeah, he throws... The same, but... Damn it, I did it again! So this is oh. my favorite Mar Rainbow Road. Yeah. I know you're, you're shocked about that. The thing that's weird, I mean, because Mario Kart oh, 64 wow. actually had some really cool tracks. There was, like, the one ghost house that I loved in it. It was like Boardwalk or something it was called. I, final lap, Tom. I'm on the final lap. Yeah, you, yeah, you are. The game, just, the game is just so bad at a fundamental level that I can't enjoy stuff. But man, the tracks were good. Ah! But, so maybe the Wii U version, because Nintendo will be like, okay, we gotta just, we gotta go all out. It'll be like a compilation where every single Jeez. Mario Kart is basically combined into one. That would be cool. All the tracks. Where they just like do a ROM dump mm -hmm. of every one of them. Well, not a ROM dump, but kind of. <laughs> kind of a ROM dump. I don't know. Mm. So we just went through all four GPs. Yes. So you've seen all the, the GP levels. All the tracks, all the speeds. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of battle mode. Yes. I don't know if Brendan wants to play at all. Yeah, yeah. Would you like to? Uh, I'll, I'll okay. do some battle mode. Okay. 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 I, 
still get thrashed, but you know, why not? I'm not in the battle mode. I've never said that I'm good at battle mode. So, I'm not, uh, yeah, battle mode's whatever. I used to be really, really good at battle mode. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I, I played a lot of it. I really like it. 64 had a great battle mode because it had, uh, it had block fort. Was that the one that was like really tall and it was super fun? I don't know. There's some good stuff in 64. It's just the mechanics and it was all terrible. Oh, the battle mode was kind of like, I put it in the same category as Doom. It just didn't seem like there was a whole lot of things quite like that. They're about the to they're about to mention my boy Shigs right here. Yeah. He produced this game. Which makes me think he had full creative control. And he was like, we're gonna make this weird game, and everyone's like, Shigs is being weird again, but I guess he made Zelda, so we gotta do this. So I don't know. Yeah, he, well they also made Wii music for that reason. Yeah, but he used to be uber, uber brilliant. He had like 23 straight years of like, what if I do this? And it was like, that's a dumb idea. Oh, Pikmin. Like this is this is what the guy wants for like 23 years. What if years. I do this? Super Mario 3? That's a dumb idea. <laughs> uh, Super, it's still... What if I do a Super Nintendo version of Super Mario? <laughs> that's a dumb idea. I think he only made like four of the Mario games. 64, Mario 64 is just like so cutting edge and so different from anything else and Crazy good. Eh, Croft was already out at that time. On the PlayStation 1. This is your it's argument? Still everything from Croft. This is your, this is your Especially argument. Especially the analog stick. If you only play three Mario games, it's World, Galaxy 2, and 64. Those are the only ones you need to worry about. It's, it's, and that game was crazy different. So this is, this is, this is where I jump. Wait, and there are a bunch of losers. Me. Losers. Me. He's the best character. Look at how silly he looks. <laughs> also, what is Toad's mouth? It's gross. <laughs> it never closes. So we got to reset the system because Open they just kind of let it hang. Is what? it this one? It's the button that says reset. Seriously? Yeah. It's, it's like a hard crash. It just kind of hangs at the, the end screen. <laughs> well, you're done. Well, you got you got to mock. You got to mock this. Yes. Only because it's really mockable. Okay. You should move. Nope. Oh, you're such a jerk. <laughs> you're <laughs> such a jerk. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay. Ah! <laughs> oh, I don't like this. This is what happens when you play with Brendan. He's mean. <laughs> Are you going to select him or what? Yes, he's... Oh, wait, there we go. I was hoping you would. Okay. Sorry. So I guess we'll play all of the courses. <laughs> I'm sorry I wasn't efficiently briefing you. We should go out of order because the best one is the second one. So we'll play that one. Okay. But this is this is the, the very simple one. Oh, this, this is so weird. I love battle mode. Oh! My strategy, I'm gonna tell you my strategy. I'll tell the world my strategy. I uh, I shoot things constantly, and I never hang on to anything longer than a second if it's not a red shell. Because what is what does it matter if you got like a green shell? That's garbage. Oh, are you kidding? That's frustrating. You can't get frustrated in Mario Kart. That's an emotion that's not fun. I'm gonna hit you with this, watch. <laughs> so I fired two red shells, neither one of them hit you. Yeah, one of them hit my star man, so it technically did hit me. What? No. We... I want... I... This is my third star, I don't want star man. Star man. I don't know where he was, no, I gotta hit you? Let's play no. chicken. Come on, where are you? Oh. oh. Why'd you have to hang on? Oh, no. So the weird thing about this is my mom used to just like buy like the hottest game of the year. That's what happened when I was a kid. And I like specifically told her not to buy this for me because it looked dumb in my game pro. Because you were like, that's a kitty game. No, I'm I was... Tom McShay. I only play badass real world <laughs> war games. <laughs> I was 11 years old. Stupid mom. It just looked dumb. It looked like a really dumb game. <laughs> oh, but my mom bought it for me anyway because she didn't listen to me. Right. And that turned out to be my favorite game ever. But it's just weird that I specifically asked her not. I destroyed you. Yeah, yeah. That's, that was pretty awful. Okay, so we're going to skip two. Well, maybe we'll just do two. Well, can you go back to these? These are short. This is the best one, though. I call it Course 2. It's a really good name. They didn't put any effort into the name. I love it. 
Oh, uh, you can jump into the thing, and then I can just, I can just sit here and just annoy you if I wanted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get the other one. Wait, is there is there a power up in those things? And two yes. of them. I already got both of them. Though. Oh, that is good sauce. Jump. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh -huh. Stupid AI in the red shells. Ah uh, ah. Uh. Oh no. Oh no. What if I do this? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I used to do like best of 99 with this when I was growing up. It doesn't really ever get old for me. But thinking of other like multiplayer Super Nintendo live streams we should do, we already decided we need to do some of the Blizzard games if Blizzard forgot. Lemmings would be awesome. Because nobody remembers that, that had a two player mode that's the best griefing mode of any game ever. So we need to do that and show the world how awesome it is to grief Sean the Guinness. Grief, the king of the griefers? Yes. That's why it's it's crazy. <laughs> have you played have either of you played this uh, multiplayer? In Lemmings? Yes. No, I never so played it. So the way this. it works is that it's like one long screen that you're kind of on together, and you both try to get like the lemmings into like your own respective, you know, things. But you can seriously like, dig a hole underneath <laughs> people and stuff. Oh, it's so fun. So we're gonna play that as soon as we as soon as we can, at some point. I don't know what else we're gonna do. Oh no! Awesome. A slow moving green shell killed me. Yes. Nicely done, Brendan. Oh. Now I'll I, give I'll give the I old. I retire as champion. <laughs> what? Is that a thing you can do? Yeah, I'm pulling a page out of my dad's book. When he was a wrestler. He... No. He was retired with a heavyweight belt. No, when we played checkers or whatever, he would wait until he won one, and then that was it. He would never play again. Ever. Literally never. Pretty much, yes. We had to find different games. That's pretty, that's strange. Well, you know, teaches you to be competitive. Did he win, <laughs> did he win a lot of, or did it have to be like 10 times you play Hunger Games and then he finally wins? Yeah, it was like that. Hmm. Okay. This is the dark but side. the important thing is oh, he you're always went out that on that stupid top. invisible thing. I didn't choose to, it just was a thing that oh. happened because oh, I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna hit you. Stop it. I'm gonna hit you. Where are you? Where am I? Show yourself. I will not show myself. You coward. Well, I'm not Fight a... like a toad. Ah oh, man. I didn't uh, hit you. Seven is pulling his hair out, hearing that the N64 version was so bad. One yeah. Of my favorites. It just doesn't, it just, like I said, the fundamentals were oh, so busted. Oh, hell no. Busted. It. It's just a bad game, it turns out. Uh, I think that we gave that like a six, or I Jen gave that a six. One of the sites gave it like a low score, and they were they were kind of spot on. Come here! Oh my god, I almost hit you. Yeah, I didn't want to get hit though. Oh. I'm gonna do this. Damn it! <laughs> Spaghetti Factory says Nintendo does what Sega don't, which is completely not the. <laughs> doesn't They're quite doesn't business. quite roll off the tongue. Uh... Well, they had to be like partnered with. Not Bandai. Who is that company? I don't know. I love Sega, so I shouldn't be ripping on them. Sammy? Yeah, I can just remember. Stop. Oh my lord! <sighs> this is pretty fun. Ah! Not because I'm winning. It was fun when I, when I Not lost. Because it is I'm fun. broadsiding Kara with a red shell. Two goofy mascots enter. One goofy mascot this leaves. Is stupid. You have to hit. You have to hit B. Oh. Look at his stupid mouth, though. His mouth's gross. See, the Top best one. part is Top that um, Tom still can't play his Koopa. That's not the best part. Um, it's the worst part. This is the worst of the levels. You can't be quite as like lazy with your red shells. You have to actually fly the ball. Girl yeah, Draco Seven. <laughs> My God, how is Tom McShay still alive after all the crud he talks about Mario Kart? I love. Yeah. Are you talking crud? Mario Kart is like I don't know. It's weird to say it's how my favorite franchise. How has someone not put a bullet in you or something? I don't know. Like what's what's the? How is he still alive? Put, put a hit on Tom for like disliking certain yeah. aspects of some Mario Kart games. Yeah, that's weird. Mario Kart is my the Super Mario Kart is literally my favorite game. It's not like it's my favorite game for Super Nintendo or some weird arbitrary. No, this is my favorite game ever. Dark Chaos <laughs> says, "How about some multiplayer Freedom Fighters or Blast Chamber?" You guys want to just kind of switch it up here? What is Blast Chamber? Uh, I think it's a PlayStation 1 game. Oh, I remember Blast Chamber. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of the first ones to hit that, like, $10 game. Right? You know what might be a really fun game to stream 
irritating stick. Oh, damn it! That, um... Like, what if we got, like, Kevin Van Orden to do that and watch him get angrier and angrier? Because that game is the most frustrating game, like, ever. I, I hated it. But every time it you tells say, you in the title that I it's know, gonna be irritating. It's so bad. Anytime I hear the name of that game, I just keep thinking of uh, Incredible Come Crisis. Here. Dang instead. it! Incredible Crisis was great. Yeah. It was before QTEs were killed stuff, so it was still fun to do. And it was when things could still be just enjoyably bizarre and pointless. Yeah. Seems like there's less of that. Gaming gaming is more serious now, but the developers don't take things seriously, so they're still just. They're stupid fun, but with a serious slant. Yeah. Does this make sense? Yeah. You should say it in a better stupid way. Stupid fun that takes itself too seriously. Yes. There and you I, go. I, oh, oh, that was that was weird. Taxidermiable. <laughs> Red ones should only be thrown backwards. It's too lame without this convention. What? What? Well, I don't know. Yeah, I can I can see that. Like there there's a modifier that would be worth worth putting in there. The red shell is the... Uh, no. Get him. Oh, yes! no. Is oh, the, uh, another green shell. Ridiculously overpowered item in this game. I love that one red shell is the most ridiculously overpowered in this when the new ones have, like, blue three. shells. And, oh, well, God. The, yeah, the triple red shell power-up. Like, who? That's, that's not awful. fun. I don't know. It's like, they just they just totally destroyed what the series was. Yep. Oh, dang it. There you are. I mean, I still, I still love Mario Kart. Really? I'm surprised someone hasn't killed you yet for all the smack you talk about it. That new one, Seven, was really awesome. It was. Really I good. was quite pleased with how so awesome So much that was. smack you're talking about it. I talk some smack about some of them. And I, 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 is there a downside to like them letting you swap the items Dang. out? Dang! Is there any kind of, like, why, why wouldn't they do this? Swap out the items if you don't like them? Oh, Say like, no to like blue shells? Was... Like, what is, what's the downside? They do it for Smash. If people go online and join a stranger's game, it's like, what are the terms going to be? Well, it should be, it should be it's just like, a, clearly visible. I mean, yeah. there's a lot of shooters and stuff that have, there's a lot of that have configurable stuff where, like, in Halo, you know, multiplayer, you can set, like, certain types of weapons. Like, maybe or just play standard, standard loadout. You hit a button. Mario oh, Kart. sure. We'll change the weapons. Yeah, I, I don't know. That's the downside is online? Who plays online? It's like Worms 2 on the PC. I loved that game. I played the hell out of that game. And then when I went online for the first time, I think it was with Worms 2, I was like, I'm going to be great. I'm so awesome at the Ninja Rope. And I went on to some dude's configured server where the rules and the, the damage and everything was completely different. Taro just stole my mushroom. <laughs> it's and all mine, the, sucker. The, the, more, the more you can tweak that kind of stuff. Damn it. What? Did our two red shells just hit each other? Yes! That was pretty crazy. How did that happen? The less standardized the online thing becomes, I Dang think it! No, 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 no. Hell hurt no. Hurt the community. Or hurt the, the chance for the online game to take off. So when sure. you play online, then it just automatically turns out all the dumb stuff. There you go. Boom. You're Fixed. fine with that, because you don't play online. Well, if people want dumb stuff, then they can play all the other versions. Why can't there be two versions without a lot of dumb stuff? That's all I'm asking. Oh. So, Mario Kart Wii U, get the Dumb Stuff Edition or the Not Dumb Stuff Edition? Even better! Not Dumb Stuff Edition is a GameStop exclusive with pre order. No. <laughs> You'd do it. No. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, like, after playing this, you guys all agree this is your favorite game of all time? Is that, cause that was the point of this, is to sway you guys. Um, no. It's, no. Up, it's up there. But I mean, I beat you at it. So, <laughs> that's your favorite game of all time, and I still just kind of Man, rub face in it there. I'm pretty sure I beat you in that wrestling game on the Dreamcast. Uh, Giant Graham? <laughs> the game's impossible if you play Brendan. That's because the game's kind of broken for two player. Is that your favorite game of all time? Giant Graham? Oh, God. I don't know, because there's, there's Giant Graham, and then there's ZHP, and. I really like Disgaea. So you, don't, you just can't... Carol, do you have a favorite game ever? Pinball Hall of Fame? I do not have a what? single favorite game ever. Oh. No. Oh, uh, man! Yay. It's like asking me what my favorite movie is. It kind of depends on... Yeah. What's your favorite movie? You ask me. 
It depends on the moment that you ask me. What's your favorite movie? Um, I don't know. For this moment, we'll say City of God. Seriously? Yeah. It's a great movie. So we get it, are we gonna like wrap this up? Or how are we wrapping this up? We just kind of wrap it up. Are we just done? You done? <laughs> Am I done? I don't know, Tom. Are you done? Well, I'm, I, the well, I'm going never... through the entire game. Yeah. Right? Every yeah. map in the battle mode. Every. We every... could go through 50 and 100 CCs. And... Oh, 50 CCs. Yeah, that's boring. For, yeah. It's just boring. So I guess we'll wrap this speed. up. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what happens. How does wrap this up? Oh, well. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. And uh, we'll see you again here real soon on Games. Well, we have but, we have oh. live streams coming up this week. Oh, we do, right. Wednesday is, is Tom well, McShay from GameSpot. I have heard of him. We're doing oh, Ratchet and Clank because we just got the Ratchet and Clank collection The, in the H HD collection, yeah. And I love, love, love Ratchet and Clank. So we're going to do a couple hours of that. And I think Kevin Benord is going to do he's Journey. Kind of, oh, the Journey collection. I don't know what he's going to do exactly because it's yeah. Flower, Flow, and Journey. But we're going to do an hour of that. So that's Wednesday. Mm -hmm. There's some, probably other stuff in the future. Yeah, I don't Ke know. Kevin's playing Hell of Guild Wars 2, so if you want to see what that game's all about, check out... Oh, it's 4 p.m. today, I think. Uh, or is it 2 to 4 today? But whatever. It's anyway. We, got, we have a <laughs> lot of streams going. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye now.